Welcome back, my friends. If you've watched the last few videos on SaucerSwap V2, you've undoubtedly come across the intriguing, yet slightly perplexing, depth chart. In today's tutorial, we'll take a deep dive into the depth chart, offering clarity and insights into its significance in concentrated liquidity. At its core, the depth chart visually represents the liquidity in a pool relative to the current price, or the active tick. Picture it as a mountain range, where peaks represent regions of concentrated liquidity, and valleys indicate regions of thin liquidity. The x-axis denotes the price, and the y-axis, the liquidity. When the price moves, the chart gives you a glimpse into how much liquidity is present at each price point, indicating potential resistance or support levels. But what happens when the active tick moves outside my defined range? While my position remains open, it temporarily stops earning fees. While the active tick remains outside my position's range, my liquidity position represents one asset. If I were to withdraw while the active tick remained outside my range, I would receive that single asset, rather than a combination of the two. However, if the active tick finds its way back into my specified range, my position springs back into action, accumulating fees once more, and representing a mixture of both assets in the pool. This is a common misconception with concentrated liquidity. There's no obligation, nor does it always make sense, to close a position just because the active tick strayed. Let's look at a pool with pegged assets. The 0.05% AAA BBB testnet pool priced at 1 BBB per AAA. For this stable pool, I'll use the balanced volatility strategy, giving me a price range around plus or minus 1% of the current tick. If the price drifts 1% off peg to 0.99, my liquidity becomes all AAA and fee earnings halt. This price shift causes a 0.25% in permanent loss. And if I pull out now, if I withdraw my liquidity at this ratio, I will realize this loss. Alternatively, I can wait for arbitrageurs to trade the price back to its peg. If it returns to this initial one-to-one -one ratio, the impermanent loss resolves itself, plus I have earned trading fees. Now, let's consider the utility of single asset deposits. Imagine I wish to set a limit order for one asset. In other words, I want to buy an asset for cheaper than its current market price. By solely providing liquidity on one side of the active tick, I can craft a fee-earning limit order. As the tick travels through your range, your deposit converts into its counterpart in the liquidity pair. This mechanism can serve as a strategic way to diversify assets while simultaneously earning fees. In essence, the depth chart is the keystone of concentrated liquidity and a defining feature of SaucerSwap V2. Hop into our Discord to join the SaucerSwap community as we get ready for the launch of concentrated liquidity on Hedera.